Okay, let me start you off with the LCD. I would factor the denominators, and it's going to be x, and then you would get x minus 3. That's the first denominator factored. The second one would be x, x plus 4. And this, guy, this last guy is 15x squared. So the LCD would be x squared, x minus 3, x plus 4. Now again, we're at problem number 32. So really what I want to do is just talk about, you know, what I get for the terms. And then we'll talk about how to get this. And then I'm going to leave some of the work to you. All right? So, you know, multiplying every term by that LCD. And again, I want to point out that's the denominator of the first guy. So what would you be left off with? Certainly a 1. All right, what cancels off? One of the x's would cancel. x minus 3 would cancel. And you're left with x plus 4. Minus, you certainly get a 1. One of the x's cancel. And the x plus 4 cancels, and you get x minus 3. Then what do you get? Oh, you know what? I forgot the 15. Sorry about that. Equals, well, certainly I get 14. The, uh, you know what? I realize I'm kind of running out of room here. I'm going to put this equals. We'll simplify it later. Well, certainly the x squared disappears. And what are we left off with? And also the 15 disappears. x plus 4, x minus 3. All right, it seems like busy work, but let's get busy. All right, what do you get over here? Let me erase this here. It's going to be 15x squared plus 60x minus 15x squared plus 45x equals, well, 14x squared, right? And then what do you get? Let's say plus 14x. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. x squared, and you get 1. Yeah. And then you get uh, minus 12 times 14. Well, these disappear. And, oh boy, I got some work to do, don't I? And you're going to get, let's see, 105 equals 14x squared plus 14x, minus 12 times 14. And I'm going to divide both sides by 7, just to make it easier on me. And 7 goes into 105 17 times. Let's see. I said by 7, right? Oh, no, 15 times. Sorry. I just, I'm spacing out. Let's see. 7 times 15 is 70 and 35. Yeah, good. 2x squared plus 2x. And I'm dividing by, uh, by 7, right? So it's going to be 12 times 2, which is 24. Well, I think I can do this. This is 0. 2x squared minus 13x, minus 24. I want to make sure you understand what we're doing over here. I'm not really doing the problem as if I were in a test. I'm really studying. So what do I got over here? I got this, and I want to make sure they got that too. And they did. They got 2x squared, minus 13x, minus 24. And I feel comfortable about that, and that's part of my practice skill. I feel comfortable getting to that step now. Now, granted, did it take me time to get there? Yes, and that's what study is. It takes time to get there. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to talk about this now, and I know what they're doing. I'll tell you what they're doing. They're writing down the A. They're writing down the B. They're writing down the C. Then they're using the quadratic formula. But I think you know I have a preference towards trying to factor that, and I want to go through that with you. Now, one thing nice about factoring, if it does work, it's generally simple. If it doesn't work, though, it's going to be a nightmare. So looking at that 2x, well, 2x times x is 2x squared, right? And I got the 24 on the end. 
and I'm going to say eight and three. By the way, I would never put the eight with the two because then it would be a common factor. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to say minus plus. No, I'm not going to say it's right until I check it. That gives me 2x squared. Minus 16 and 3 is minus 13. Yep, looks perfect. What do I get over here? x equals minus 3 halves or x is equal to 8. Now, by the way, before I say it's a right answer, I want to point out some bad answers would be 0. That would be a bad answer. Another bad answer would be uh, minus 4. That would be a bad answer. Another answer would be minus 3. That would be a bad answer, too. I'm sorry, plus 3. That would be a bad answer. None of the above. All right? Good answers. Good answers. All right? Again, we're talking now about study habits, being able to have a partial solution to the problem. I'm sorry, a partial amount of work with a solution to make sure that we know how to do the problem. Thank you.